The Rado Captain Cook 1962 reissue design. Released in 2020, the Rado takes traditional to the next level with new materials, modern flair, and a vintage style. The old school style with high tech materials, the Rado Captain Cook is an excellent sporty yet classy dive watch option that comes in at that mid level tier. However, would fit in the conversation with some of your higher end luxury dive watches. Now, the Rado Bronze Series came out in 2020. Came out in three color variations. We're looking at a brown, we're looking at a blue, we're looking at a green. I couldn't help it. I fell for the green. Green on green bezel and dial just works, especially with that bronze coloration. Like the Hulk wrapped up in that beautiful bronze package. Arr! Now this one's mine. She's all mine. And will be a symbol of my family and my homeland of Bermuda for years to come, which makes the value priceless. Now the Rattle Captain Cook Bronze with this green dial and bezels coming in with that 42 millimeter case design, dynamite. And in the interest of case dimensions, the case is actually about 40 millimeters with the 42 millimeter width coming in at the bezel top end. She wears like a 40 millimeter watch for anyone. Finished with this bronze satin finish, dome sapphire crystal, ceramic concave, beautiful green bezel design to protect from scratches uh, and also a screw down titanium case back, which protects from any early signs of oxidization with your skin. And let's talk numbers. 42 millimeter case, 21 millimeter lug width, 48.3 millimeter lug to lug, 6.5 millimeter signed anchor, screw down push pull crown, 12.5 millimeter thickness, dynamite. 76 grams out of the box with the strap. Rado has done an excellent job here balancing the original classic 60s aesthetics with that modern materials. It's got panache, flair. It's over the top, gorgeous. Captain Cook is special and has the ability to go from the water to the workplace. Rado, all Swiss components and a powerhouse movement inside. She's rocking the modified ETA caliber C07 movement. Automatic movement, 25 joules, running at three hertz. Whopping 80 hour power reserve, that's dynamite. You can see the results of this fine movement with my fave, that large sweeping seconds hand going around that dial. Now this dial, unbelievable. This deep emerald green plays fantastic with the bronze case and color design. Sunburst green dial could look a lot different too, depending on the light reflections. Rado killed it with matching this green ceramic bezel finished off with gold markers and hands and faux patina, which is a great look for this vintage 60s flare. It just pops. Now we have a curved dial under the sapphire crystal, which adds depth to the dial, creating an interesting look and anti-reflective coating that allows for unbelievable visibility from most angles. <laughs> Rado has thought of everything here. We have Rado signed at the 12 with that signature round anchor right at the 12 as well. And guess what? It moves, it rotates around at its leisure. Originally designed by Rado for the earlier models of the Captain Cook to show when the watch was re required to have some service done. I like the Captain Cook in its own little script font at the six, nice touch, followed up with water resistance at 300 meters or 1,000 feet. We have a broad arrow, hour hand, and matching faux patina indices, along with loom tipped large seconds hands, which caps off the three hand movement with great loom capabilities. Now it's not over the top like your normal Seiko loom, but she gets the job done. Now the elephant in the room, I know you've noticed it, is that date complication here. How do you feel about the red on white date display and no cyclop? Comment down below, let me know. I like it, it's unique, it's different, suits me just fine. Now the Rado strap, this is a nice unique strap design finishing off the Captain Cook with a genuine leather 
Sign Rado green leather strap based on some lights could look brown also. We have a bronze signed Rado buckle with anchor and the strap fits great and offers quick release pin connection for the 21 millimeter lug. Overall, a great look and functionality at its best. Now, Rado, looking at the cost here, I know for some it could be cost prohibitive, but think about the investment and for what reasons you may be looking to decide on pulling the trigger for this particular watch. She's coming in at an estimated $2,500, depending on the market values and location, and of course the many deals that could be offered from a number of resources around this wonderful planet of ours. From the moment I laid eyes on this watch, it was written. I thought I was eventually going to go with maybe a Tudor bronze someday in the future, but once Rado grabbed my attention, I never looked back. Now, it will be a lasting memory of Bermuda and my family. The Rado Captain Cook. I'm ready. Creating more family memories while never forgetting my roots. What's on wrist? The Rado Captain Cook Bronze. I'm the Covert Crow. Thanks for all the support and tuning in. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification because you don't want to miss the next video. And you know what I always say. I'm also on Instagram. You can follow me. She's right there. I appreciate your time. See you on the next one.